name is Keely O'Neill. I am enrolled at Nipissing University in the Concurrent Education Program. Specifically, I have taken a social geography course which has enlightened me in many different issues around the world. I believe that a number one issue in today's society is water consumption and conservation. Because it's such a broad topic, I've decided to narrow it down and focus on washing laundry and saving water and as well as money. I have a few tips and tricks to share with you that will help. So coming into university, I didn't really know a whole lot about doing laundry because I was fortunate enough to have my mom do it for me while I was at home. But I wasn't doing anything wrong except for the fact that I found out that I wasn't filling the washing machine. So I decided to do some research and I found out that 15% of water usage in a home is used for just washing laundry. So in the big picture, that's actually a lot of water. Also, depending on what type of washer you have, you can use up to 50 liters of water per washing cycle. This really opened my eyes because looking at the bigger picture, 50 liters of water could be used for lots of things such as cooking and cleaning and bathing, things like that. I've decided that the best way to get my point across is by showing you exactly what I do. Uh, since water conservation is always important, I've decided to share some pointers that can help you when washing your start off. When you're organizing and sorting your laundry, like what I'm doing here, um, you have to try to come up with bigger loads. So right now, it kind of looks like I have a full load of laundry. There's lots of clothes in here. But when you actually put it into the washing machine, it doesn't actually fill it up. And that can waste water. So what I do while I'm at home is I'll be nice enough to do my brother's laundry. So I'm just going to add some clothes to show you what a full load will actually look like. It appears that we have two loads of laundry. But in reality, you could put both of these together. Once you have a full load of laundry, it's crucial to choose an appropriate time to actually wash it. And since it's after eight o'clock, we're actually saving money because according to the Ontario Energy Board, um, any time after seven o'clock is an off-peak time, which means the demand for electricity is actually cheaper. It's not actually generating as much electricity. Once you've loaded your washing machine, you want to make sure you choose as an appropriate setting as well as a temperature. You should be washing your clothes on a cold temperature. This is better for the environment because you're not using as much electricity to warm the water. You want to choose an appropriate setting. We are just going to let this start. So since we have a bit of time until the clothes are clean, I thought I should make you aware of some labels and symbols you may find on your washer. So the first one is the Energy Star symbol. Natural Resource Canada explains that this symbol indicates that a product meets or exceeds high efficiency standards. A certified model is the top 15 to 30 percent of its class for energy performance. The other label you may see on your machine is the Guide label, which compares a product's energy performance to others in its class. So once your laundry is done, you have one last step of mine that can help you to reduce um, energy and water. So my last little trick is to not even put your clothes in the dryer, just hang them out to dry. This will reduce even more electricity because you're not even using your drying machine. It, little things like this will help you in the long run and help the environment as well. So since we're, during, we're doing our laundry during the off-peak time, we're actually helping the environment, yourself, and Ontario or our whole community. Environmental Canada points out that energy, energy conservation contributes to water conservation. So it's basically a cycle and they're intertwined. Overall, following these small and simple tips such as making sure you have a full load of laundry, washing your clothes at an appropriate time, choosing to use cold water and appropriate settings, and finally by air drying your clothes, you will be well on your way to lowering some bills and helping the environment out by saving some water. Thank you for listening and happy washing!